Hola. Maybe everybody can hear me now. Hmm. Okay. I have moved into the garage and I tell you what, it's actually kind of cooler in here. So I try to do a haul out there outside of my garage and apparently my Wi-Fi connection was not that great. Okay. Let's get the chat open. Thrifted clothing haul. Mm -mm -mm. It's Friday. It's Friday. Ooh. So we already did all the hard goods haul, luckily, for the most part. I do. Man, it's like these people are parking in front of my house like I'm having a garage sale and nobody said nothing about no garage sale. Literally, there's some car in my driveway. <laughs> it's like the worst. Oh, where is everybody? My internet must be bad. Oh my god. Totally gonna have to go tell this lady to go away. She's like literally parking. What the hell is she doing? Hold on, guys. I have this crazy lady pulling up in my driveway. Hold on. Can I help you? Y'all think I'm crazy. I am crazy. Hold on, let me have to talk to Okay. So apparently I have so many garage sales, this lady thinks I'm having a sale, and there's like new signs on my street. Like, no, it's probably because I have a table set up like I'm having a new sign garage sale. Hey, Marty. I'll probably at the end of this video, I'm going to cut out the whole first half of this video. So anybody who plays back this video won't have to sit and wait for this whole ordeal. So let's start the video from here. I have a clothing from the really? like a robot. Is it still doing it, Maddie? Oh. I'll close reopen it. Hold on. Hey everybody. Okay, I'm back. So yes, again, I will probably edit the first half of this video because we had some interruptions. And let me know if you can hear me better now. I'm going to do a clothing haul from the pound store, of course. What else? Hopefully I don't sound like a robot this time. Okay, I just refreshed the page. Let me know if it's better, Gina, if you're still here. 
Where's my telly? Is it right here? Right here? Right here? Back all good. I figured it was. I closed out my whole screen and reopened it. Yep, you're going to edit the beginning like it never happened. Only we know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Sorry, guys. The struggle is real, right? Woo! All right. It's almost 12 o'clock now. Lunch time. I'm joking. Okay. Are y'all ready to check out the Kate Spade dress? Now I'll just keep the story short. So. Super cool. Yesterday I found an $18 Kate Spade purse, and I swear I brought it over here and I put it somewhere, but it's hiding now after all the commotion. It's okay. Break time. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me close this screen. Okay, now I can see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So again, a lady sitting next to me is like, I have these piles here. That's why there's so much shade, right? Of clothes. A lady's like, do you want this dress? And I'm expecting it to be something cheap, like Forever 21 or a mall brand. And lo and behold, this freaking Kate Spade per dress has pockets. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Thank you, Kate Spade. Love you. Look for the silver lining. Well, I don't know why it says that because there's no silver lining on the tag, but I guess it's her quote saying, I see my broken nail. Look, it's about to be ripped off. It's completely halfway broke. Um, so I'm going to cut all my nails short to one length. So it's a red, beautiful dress. It does have deodorant on it. I'm going to wash it today and get it up this weekend for sale. All right, here we go. Now somebody wants to weed eat. This is, the this is like the most difficult YouTube live streaming that I've ever done. Apologies in advance. Now we have a weed eater. <laughs> okay, so I never find these vintage cut off mom shorts, um, but I found a pair yesterday, so I figured I would take a risk on these, and I did not look them up. But I do know it's summer coming, like right now. And these are totally vintage. Oh, wow. It's a 32-32. Does that mean these are men's? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe I could, yeah. I had a story to go with that, but I'm not even going to go there. It take me all day. We'll never get out of this video. Y'all, isn't Posh's fees 20%? I countered with a $10 offer, but it stated my earnings would be $7.05. Yeah, should be. I don't know what the percentage is. I just look at what Posh says it will be. Let me look at. Pretty sure $7.05 is the profit on that. Uh, so if you sell something for ten dollars on Poshmark, your profit would be seven oh five. Yes, direct, full seven oh five. Oh, okay. Maddie's saying if it's under fifteen, it's a flat fee of two ninety five. I didn't know that. Mm. Oh, oh, well, I don't know. She says, well, should it, shouldn't it have been $8 if it's 20%? Well, Maddie's saying the two ninety five dollars flat fee. I really didn't know that. Hmm. Good to know. Pretty cool. Okay. Moving along. Um, these shorts were super shorts. I can't even talk now, you guys. These pants, um, I did not look them up. But they are super cute, so I can kind of feel that they're good quality, right? They're math. I need to raise my prices, she says. Do it. So they're trouser bottoms, and I didn't know that for the longest time, but usually when you have the thick hem, you list these as trouser, and they're super cute, right? Trouser, they kind of need to be ironed down there, right? but they're not shredded. 
These are called, oh, look why I got these. It says go green with envy on the inside of the zipper here. And then it's got a really nice reuse button, right? And then it says that these are recycled cotton. So I knew right away I don't have to look up the comps on this. I support the brand 100%. Um, so I don't care if I only get $10 off of this. Um, it is a nice button, and that's what caught my eye. And then the trouser, but the trouser bottoms caught my eye too. But then the nice metal tag on the back over here was nice. And so I never looked them up because, again, after I saw that the fabric tag says recycled cotton, I was sold. These are not, these don't fit me. They're way too small. I probably would have fit these in junior high or something, but um, super cute. This is old and ra kind of raggedy, but I thought it was cool. Can't go wrong with a cool Adidas beanie for 99 cents a pound. So I didn't even pay a dollar for that. Mati says, nice recycles. Recycled, reduce, and reuse. Yes, Madi, and you will love um, Boondoggle Bliss's newest video last night because she does a long, it's kind of, you kind of have to stick with her because I watched a lot of her videos last night because uh, I was up to like one at night, one in the morning because um, she's a numbers kind of person and stuff and she likes to teach apparently. <laughs> I noticed from the videos, um, but she definitely talks about how uh, more people are buying thrifted items now. So uh, we're buying more thrifted items than we did in the past. More people are becoming knowledgeable about it. Like on the radio, I heard in California, I believe some man paid for his whole house to be solar. And he said he realized, you know, that we're killing the earth. Like we literally, you, me, you and I, that you over there, your kids, we're all killing the earth, right? And he was like, so I installed solar stuff. But of course now California has a rule. They just passed the law that you have to have solar in all new construction homes. So that's what the topic was. And if you haven't seen it, go to YouTube and Google plastic trash floating in a river in a foreign country. There is little, literally a river flowing and the whole huge river flowing that has nothing but dead, dead goats, trash, water bottles, everything in it. I can't believe that this water is even like that. I can't believe it. It makes me sick. Such a humanist or environmentalist or something. So I picked up this black bra, Soma. Soma's a good brand. I think I learned off you guys. Did I learn that Soma's on TV? That, uh, what's it called? That, hi, Michelle. That, uh, <laughs> I'm all, hi, Michelle. I'm mad because we're killing the earth, right? I showed my son. He was like, so mom, why did we quit buying bottled waters? We started buying the big plastic gallon that has the pop lid so that my kids will stop grabbing bottled waters and leaving them around my house um, and we can save money, but so that they can use a reusable cup now. So he asked me why we quit buying bottled waters and I pulled that video up and I told, showed it to him and he was like, that's so sad. It really is, you guys. So I picked this up for myself. It's just a summer tank top. I don't know the brand. Let me show you. Oh, yeah, I do. It's not a high resale value. And I, you guys, I'm like super hot natured. Like I like literally sweat. I live in Texas too, but pretty like active, right? So these muscle shirts will work really good for me this summer. 
picked up this dress because I just think it is absolutely adorable. It's not for me. Um, this is actually Old Navy, and I do not pick up Old Navy very often unless it's super cute. So there's that. This looks brand new. Size small, and I bet it's linen. Let me check. Linen or just cotton? Hola, Lola, chicky. <clears throat> San Francisco, California. You can find them a cute reusable bottle they can each have. Yeah, they have those. <clears throat> yeah, for them to refill their waters. Yes, exactly. Rylan, my five-year-old, I haven't made him. We usually get him juice, apple juice and stuff. But my big one, my 11-year-old, I mean, he just drinks those water bottles like they're crazy. And he'll be out here pouring them out in the freaking road. And I'm like, dude, you're wasting water. Like, no, now he's going to use a refillable cup. <laughs> so anyway, sorry, I'm going on about the earth. North Face, I picked it up. It does have a paint spot, but these are cool. I have never found a pair of like yoga North Face tights. And I went ahead and got them even though they have paint. Um, Cause I still feel like I can flip these and make a profit on them. So they're vapor wick medium, even though they look small. Oh my gosh, this net right here. You can literally see through it through the video. I like it. Like I said, I sweat pretty hardcore. Um, so I like that this is super breathable, but you can't see through it. <coughs> New law in Vegas. We all have to recycle and they gave us all one large can for one. And they only pick up once a week. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Yay. Amazing. Okay, so check it. Like, it has one paint spot, right? And it's right there. I think it's paint. Pretty sure she painted in these. <coughs> Wow, I didn't know other places didn't supply recycle bins and have it a lot. No, no, we don't recycle here. Oh my gosh, I have to drive all the way across town just to recycle glass. And where do I recycle it? At a college. The college recycles. My city doesn't even recycle. Pisses me off. So I'm almost through this back, but I'm a sucker for like big and bold and go big, right? It's a uh, small, it's like a crop though. And this is a good brand. <clears throat> Madi, really? No. Holy crap, that sounded like a shotgun or something fell hard. I'm in a pretty hippie town, I guess. Ha ha, she says. Lucky you. I know, I feel like such a hippie. Like the alpaca llama, llama, llama. Yeah, except I think this is, uh, yeah, you said like it, but this one's cheap in polyester. So I thought it was kids, but I think it's a crop one because I fit it just fine. See, I think it's just a crop one. <clears throat> yeah, and figure, I didn't realize the clothes. Like yesterday, I went to the estate sale, and I saw, like, all these old clothes that this old lady had, and I'm like, yeah, we're bad. We've been bad for many, many years. People want to talk trash about the new generation? Please. Y'all didn't teach us. We're not teaching our new generation crap. Like, okay, so I picked up this Banana Republic. Banana Republic is okay. Don't get too excited, you guys. Um, but it's this really cute schoolgirl dress, right? Ruffle sleeves. And then it's like kind of got a peplum flirty skirt too. Fit and flare kind of. Same in Oklahoma. Do you have recycling or you don't? I bet you're just like me, aren't you, Christy? Where they don't really. <clears throat> so my local grocery stores, they have like literally trash cans right down the street where I could take plastic and certain stuff. But why would you have 15 recycle bins and not one of them are for glass? So my whole city is not recycling. 
because half the city can't afford to drive all the way across town to go fit and flare further. Um, yeah, I mean, half the people don't even have cars to go recycle at Texas Tech College. Like, give me a freaking break. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm mad about it. But I'm just discovering all this. So, okay, I didn't look this piece up either, but the tag, I recognize it. I think I do. It's like a yoga brand, I believe. So I went ahead and got it without looking it up. It's this, like, workout top. Oh, that's cool. It's got the logo down here, and it's metal. It's a good uh, workout brand, I believe. Here's the tag. Alo, maybe? I don't see any flaws, so I went ahead and got it. Here in Omaha, Nebraska, we get free green recycling bins, and they collect once a week. Madi says, when I was a little kid, they had recycling machines at the stores. It looked like a vending machine. You put your can in and got a nickel, but they broke a lot. Recycle here, nothing in town. Have to drive 30 minutes, says Christy. In Texas, what is wrong? Like, we even have Texas like signs that say recycle and don't litter, and you get a huge fine. Like, they spend more money on the signs than they do on recycling, right? Cute shirt. Yeah, I thought so. With the hoodie. I love hoodies, right? Mari says, okay, I gotta get photos done. Waves, I'll be watching only. I mean it. Texas, I'm shocked. Same, says Christy. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta stop talking too because we gotta get to work. So, pants, right? Y'all know I don't like pants. These are kind of old school because they're real big, but like at the bottom, I mean, the wide leg, big. Um, and most people are wearing, you know, regular and skinny, but these are great for the office. Not all older women have gone skinny pant legs, so they still wear wide. I don't know this brand, but check out the price on this tag. There's the tag. Company Ellen Tracy, size 12. It's got a Dillard's markdown and proof of purchase stickers, right? They marked these pants down to $118. Um, so I didn't look up the comps on these. I said new tags, $100. It's mine. Christy Van Zant says, <clears throat> love the fine signs that says $10,000 fine for hitting road crew. Weird ass sign. Christy, are you the one that says you live in Oklahoma or is that somebody else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christy, same in Oklahoma. Yeah, so I mean you guys I already inspected the whole thing. When I get stuff, I'm like, dude, are the but are the buttons broke? Like what's wrong? Something's wrong here. Nope, nothing's wrong. <laughs> Zipper works. Buttons are there. No stains. So We'll definitely get that up for sale. My mom hates to list pants, though. I might have to list these myself, but I don't know. She's getting better. <coughs> Sorry, I had to fold up these $100 pants, right? That probably sell for $30. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. I might keep it, but I should just list it anyways. And I'll wear it until it sells, right, for a high price. That sounds like a good idea to me. It's uh, shockingly a size small. I must be losing some more weight, right? Steve Madden, size small, mustard yellow coat. And it's kind of like a, a cape, so you can see the bat wing. Did y'all know that that's called bat wing? Like a lot of shirts, if it connects down here in the center, I learned many, many years ago, luckily, that this is called a bat wing kind of style. So this is freaking adorable, you guys. I really think I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I like it. It's shocking that it's a small because it fits kind of big. 
those not your daughter jeans I got yesterday has dirt spots. So you hope they come clean in a wash. Love dark stores. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you know what I... Uh, was it? Yeah, Christy was uh, messaging me on Facebook and she said something about NYDJ. And I'm like, wait, NYDJ stands for Not Your Daughter Jeans? They have NYDJ on their jeans, but not all the time do they spell out Not Your Daughter Jeans. So I told Christy, I said, I think I've been passing those off. Because I thought NYDJ was kind of the same as that WD Wendy brand, like W.D.N.Y brand, which is totally like a cheaper mall brand. So I literally think I've been passing up NYDJ pants, and I didn't know it, you guys. Um, I have never listed a Not Your Daughter's Jeans brand. Ever. And you want to know why? Because I'm passing them up. Yeah, I literally didn't know. I thought it stood for like New York jeans. And then a, like a light went off when Christy was talking to me, texting me. And I was like, oh, crap. Dumb. Like, whoa. Okay, moving along. I do have the belt to this, but oh my gosh, I found this as soon as I got to the bins yesterday. It is a super soft polyester, silky soft kind of maxi dress. Oh my God, it is amazing, you guys. Someone is going to look fabulous in this. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable, but I believe it's too big and too long for me. I did not look up the comps on this, and I hope that the size is even in here. <clears throat> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Madi. Oh. What? Yeah, that sucks. So I'm going to have to, like, totally... Oh, yay! Yay! Pattern. The belt is pattern. It's a large, yeah, this will not fit me, especially because I don't have boobs, right? I mean, I don't have big enough boobs. Like, this is, yeah, I could never wear a large like this. Um, it's right here, the belt. So, let me show you the brand. I'm not familiar with the brand, but I loved it, and I didn't care to look it up because I love the color, I love the style. But then when I saw the brand, and I saw that it had a scripture, or the John 316, I said, we're getting it. So it is Jeanette Fashion. Yeah, the V is very big. So you definitely have to work on that. Whoever's wearing that with a shirt under it or pin it or <laughs> have some some big yayas or whatever you call want to call them. I never say yaya. -ya. I don't know why I said that. Ta ta ya ya. Okay, so I scored a Nike jacket. It's extra large. I haven't showed it to Chris. Um, <coughs> he probably will keep this. It is straight up a freaking Nike jacket. A lot of people are donating their winter stuff, so I'm sure I'll find lots of good stuff this summer. Um, only thing wrong with it is, for some reason, somebody put a permanent marker with a 10 in there. And other than that, my husband loves black, so he may want this. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. All right. This is the haul that never ends. Nike Posh Party, another 40 minutes till the party starts. So, what you're saying? I wonder what time we're eating lunch. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with this piece. I just love this piece. 
Is, is this Heather Gray, you guys? I don't know what Heather Gray looks like. You don't. If it's not Heather Gray, just tell me no. If it is, say yes. Because uh, I actually have never known what Heather Gray is, but I think it's actually darker than this, and it's a so more solid color, right? We have armpit stains. You think so? Here it is again. It's like got uh, white and gray and black mix. So, LOL, the haul that never ends. So, oh my gosh, look at this dress. It's like a wrap. Oh, maybe it looks prettier in person. So, it's got that kind of wrap. So, it kind of makes you like real skinny looking and pencil-y, but it's wavy or what do you call it? I don't know. I'm getting tired. Anyways, this thing is amazing. Someone is going to look amazing in this. And I'm not familiar with the brand, but it says Vibe Sportswear. Size medium. My mom will definitely be listing this. So you see this here. All you got to do is go inside and pull the thread through. Just pull this thread with a needle or anything you can through the other side and let it hang on the inside. There's actually two, one right next to it. So her bracelet probably caught on her dress and ripped it. I hate bracelets like that. So yeah, easy fix right there. I hope my mom knows that, right? <clears throat> I don't wanted to throw this back, but I thought that maybe I would wear it. I don't know. I'm going to try it on. It's just a Kohl's brand. This is definitely, I remember from Kohl's. Can y'all see? Pink Republic. Yep. It's just a striped shirt, but I don't think it's going to work for me because it's going to show my love handles over here on the side. <laughs> I got some love handles. Sure do. I don't know what to do with this. I don't think I'm going to like it, but I'll try it. Next piece, I did like this, but unfortunately it's really long, so it'd be more like winter for me. Um, I like the back because it's got the bow there. It's a cheap shirt, or not too cheap. Monteyu size large, even though it's smaller, like a medium, because it's juniors. Next one, 21, which is forever 21. And... There's the weed eater again. Luckily, he hasn't... I can smell a man. I can smell him over there. Isn't that weird? I'm like... I have like a freakishly strong nose smell. I don't know. Maybe it's this. Sorry. I had a moment. I was like, there's a dude right there. <laughs> I know I'm weird. Uh, some people do put too much perfume and clone on, right? Um, so this is a really cute Forever 21. I literally got this for myself and not to resell. Super cute. Kind of covers the butt. Oops, I got myself another shirt. It's just a stripe. As you can see, I love stripes. It's supposed to make you look thinner, right? That's cute, says Christy. Yeah, the uh, picnic kind of checker plaid. So this is basic, a Bangladesh. Oh, it's H&M. I didn't know that. Cool. H&M. I found a really fluffy, and again, I like stuff that's like go big, go crazy, like draw attention, a big fluffy, furry, like carpet coat. This like reminds me of those catwalk models or like models that walk down the runway in the magazines wearing the big coats. And this is from, like, Dillard's, I do believe. Mall brand papaya. It's like a silky, soft, embroidered tag. It's pretty good. It's like a mall brand, though. So I spent $35 yesterday, and I spent $9.89 today at the bins. We're not done that yet. Got a Harley Davidson shirt to sew, and it's cute. It's pink. 
and it's got beads and embellishing. It's like a long john, right? This is super cute. I bet this would be like so, 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 I was going to say, honestly, I was going to say so sexy on. Like, I bet this is going to look amazing. I bet it looked amazing on whoever had it. So, yeah, it's embellished on the back. Wow, I've never seen a pink Harley tag like this. This is cute. Size large. However, it's more like a medium for any of you, so don't get excited if you like Harley. So that's for resale in my mom's closet. Love the pink Harley, right? I literally, I mean, I promise I've never seen a pink Harley Davidson tag before. Guess I don't find it that often. Next piece is from The Gap. And anytime I see this at the Goodwill bins, it can typically mean two things. <clears throat> One, it means that it's super vintage, right? Like a lot of lace was super popular back in the day. I don't, like I can spot it from across the room. I go to lace and I inspect it. So again, one thing, it would either be vintage and two, it would be a really cool boho, could be hippie piece. I find a lot of them, right? So it kind of looks like a rag, but this is just a cream dress, but it's from the Gap. So it's really pretty. Can, some people may think this is just like a tablecloth or something and not even look at it, but yeah, the whole back is unbuttoned. So there's my stepdad. Google it, Harley Pink Label Collection to support breast cancer. Eh, nice. Interesting. Oh my gosh, I just hit myself in the head face with this uh, little baby outfit. You guys, if I had a daughter, she would wear this. This is a baby gap uh, jumpsuit. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Don't cuss, okay? You're on live TV, YouTube, okay? Oh, okay. She's inside. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So super cute. Oh my gosh, I love this piece. Really. Let me show you the tag. It's a two-year, two-T. Yeah, white's really easy to sell because you can wear it with cowboy boots or you can wear it with sandals. So, and it looks good on the skin. I hope I want to try these on. Um, they're Calvin Klein, like cargo kind of capris, but they're a size six. Urgh. I don't wear a six. I wear like an eight or a 10 or a nine. Wait, is that a six or a nine? I think it's a six. Anywho, they look really cute. Got those at the bins, Calvin Klein. Try those on. These are Roxy and they are new with tags, which is rare. Never do I find new with tag Roxy. They're that, uh, what do y'all call that burnout? I think I just learned this. Fire. Jesus, you scared the crap out of me. You went out the front door. Sorry, my stepdad just talked to me and really scared me. Um, <laughs> I was like, uh, burnout, right? Where it's got this coloring, right? That's what I learned anyways. So I honestly didn't know that. I like literally learned that in the past, I don't know, three to six months. Yeah. Um, Goodwill damaged it by putting a permanent marker dot on it, right? Which means that instead of charging the normal, like let's say they charge $3 for their pants, they put the dot on there to tell the cashier that she needs to double the price. So these would not have cost $3. They would have cost $6, but nobody wanted them. So I got them for 99 cents a pound. Oh, look, and they, yeah, $6. So I was right, $3 for pants, which would make it six. 
and I'll probably turn this into like a higher number before I sell it or I'll just scratch it out. Doesn't matter. I won't remove it though. I'll probably leave it and just make that number look like a bigger number. Like put a nine and then put a one next to it so it's really $19 instead of nine. <laughs> Found a Free People sweater. Free People's been okay for me lately. Um, it depends on what you have. This is a sweater. I don't know what to call this, but I know it has a name, right? It probably does. It's like holy, and it's like carpety. I don't know. It's a big one. Well, I mean, it's sized as a small, but... I also learned from Dillard's. Eventually, I promise I'll stop repeating myself, but I hope that people hear me that maybe they've got to hear it a couple times like I do. <laughs> I learned from the Dillard's employee because I was trying on a dress um, and a small fit me. And this was back when I was like way bigger. So free people, hence the name, right? Free. So it's like loose and free. So a small technically runs a large in free people. So the free people is always, always typically, usually oversized. So right now this looks like an extra large to me, not a small. So I hope somebody didn't know that maybe, or it helps somebody. <laughs> Okay, next piece, this is just like a cheap, I think it's a Target workout top, but it's like in perfect new condition. And it says Cyclones, and it's that Avia size large. It's almost brand new, so I got that to resell. And I don't know why I threw this <coughs> over there. Ooh, I got this for myself. It says, oh, I love the style. Awesome. So I got this for summer. It says, I don't remember. It says, fiesta, siesta, tequila, repeat. <laughs> I'm going to pimp this this weekend. No, I'm joking. I'm not drinking tequila this weekend. Maybe in a couple weekends. <laughs> I'll wash that and keep it. Next piece, it's not a high return uh, price, but it's okay. And uh, it's really pretty. Purple's great. Purple is always a good color to buy. Um, I love purple. I have spent over an hour or two years ago when I worked in the office. I literally have spent over an hour just looking on Poshmark for a certain color shirt that I wanted um, before I found the bins. This is before I found the bins, right? Um, or looking for a certain bikini that I wanted on Poshmark, or I needed a top to go with the bikini bottoms. So like girls were literally, I'm guilty of it. I literally have shopped on Poshmark for over an hour. <laughs> like, just like you do at the actual store, right? When I go shopping, it takes at least an hour to have fun and find what you want. So this is a tube top, embroidered. This is a Dillard's brand. Wear tequila with that purple top. Wear tequila with that <laughs> what? Size medium. I did already show it, y'all. Chelsea and Violet, I believe is what it says, yeah. I believe this is the Dillard's one and not Target. If I'm wrong, quote me on that. But I think that is Dillard's. Okay, that's the last of that bag. And then again, I only spent $9.89 today. So we only have 5.80 pounds of clothes to go through. And it's right here. And then we're done. And I already pulled the Kate Spade dress out of that. So that's one piece I've already gone through. <clears throat> um, okay, so these are for me. They're just to put in my closet. I literally went in my closet at home and got rid of like 10 pair of old office uh, 
office pants that I don't wear anymore. I don't work in the office anymore. Um, I don't have a full time job like where I have to wear, you know, dressy stuff every day like I've been doing for many years. Um, this is nice. It's a size large average, just a spandex waist, kind of a little bell bottom. They're kind of like tweed looking, but they're not so stretchy. So I figured I would get these since I did recently get rid of a bunch of pants. That's going to help me one day. Picked this up. It's pleather leather belt. And it's just, uh, again, winter, they're getting rid of stuff. It's a coat with pleather leather trim. Uh, it's not on the sleeves. It's got dust on it, right? Leather leather there and all the way down. None of it's peeling. I already checked it. And it's Love Tree. You guys, I'm not familiar with this brand. Can anybody tell me if they have ever seen this brand before? Because I did not look it up, but it looks just like Burberry. And so it's really thick and nice. So I figured, what the heck? I didn't look it up. I just took a risk. Um, so it's Tizzy, Tizzy, T-I-Z-Z-I-E. And it's this plaid Burberry looking thing. But look, it's got, okay, here's another tip. Oh, vegan leather. Is that, I would never think to say that, but that is right. You're right. Pleather leather, you could probably call it vegan leather. Here's another helpful tip. If you didn't know it, I didn't know it either. Um, but from doing research and stuff, typically you see this in black and white, but this is called hound's tooth so certain women are looking for this style the purple halter top yeah it's cute <laughs> she says damn my phone died uh so yeah hound's tooth on that but again it's usually black and white this is rare that it's tan like that but look it folds over too it's so stylish right i don't know never heard of it 100 percent cotton Almost like it's brand new. I don't even think it's ever been worn. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, last piece. And this is a wedding dress. But it's a vintage wedding dress. And it's actually kind of pretty. I saw a wedding dress there yesterday. And it was like all nasty and dirty. So I didn't get it. Yeah. It's called Hound's Tooth. Yeah. True story. I'm getting married, y'all. Again. I lie. I'm never getting married again. Only once. Right? Um, wow, this is big one. The okay. So, it looks to remind me of Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. So, here we go. It goes up like that. Has it got the whole, okay, no. It's curl back. It does have one stain that I saw right there on the lace. Maybe it can come out. I was thinking, just cut that piece off, right? <laughs> Trim around it. Nobody will notice. Too much frilly going on. You got lace sleeves. Oh, look at the snap buttons. I miss these things. They don't really make those anymore, do they? The snappers. Okay, so. Let's see. So we got layer upon layer. Funky, right? Very vintage. Yes. So, cool wedding dress, right? I was like, yes. Usually antique stores sell these things for like 100 bucks sometimes. 
So look at the cute little ruffle shoulder. How cute. So that's it, folks. I think I'm going to list in the garage. Maybe I'll go live later if anybody wants to have a listing party. Oh, my dress has got a little tiny hole in it in the front. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't know what I'm doing for lunch yet, but I got to eat lunch or do something. And then, yeah, maybe we'll go live later if anybody wants to. Let me know if you want an invite. You know where to find me. I don't know what happened to my face. The aphids beat, ate me up last night, right? Do you know if the wedding dresses sell well? I've passed one or two up. I wasn't sure. Um, so I did. The reason why I like to pick up wedding dresses um, is because I do sell them. Where's that other one I had? I guess I sold that one too. I thought it was still up there. Um, I did list a, uh, thank you, Madi. I listed a wedding dress on Craigslist, you guys. Check this out. I listed a wedding dress on Craigslist that I got at the pound store for a dollar a pound. And the lady came and bought the dress for, it was 75 or a hundred dollars. And the girl didn't even live here. Like she didn't eat, she was picking it up for like her daughter or her daughter-in-law. Like she didn't even get to see it. So yeah. Anywho, that's all for the haul. I'm going to go ahead and hurry and hit the end button since this is like, what, another hour long video. So we'll see you guys later. TGIF. Have a great weekend. Bye.